Hello. Oh, we mail? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are you Yu Meng? Yeah, my name is Yu Meng Chen. Uh, Yu Meng. Did you want me to introduce myself first? Sure. Okay, my name is Yu Meng Chen, and today I I want to introduce some question with you. It's about the opinions your it's it's about the opinions from you to how does your see the ISS what and what do you think the your judgment about the ISS and this is the assignment about comes four nine eight okay yeah I would be glad to support and the the first question is. What kind of a survey has ISS provide to you? Um, in my specific situation, um, because I'm about to graduate, I sought support from ISS for uh, some cons consultant regarding my employment of the resident card after graduation because I'm, I'm about to work for another institution right after my graduation. Um, at that time, I asked for some information about OPT training for F1 visa, uh, student visa, and I asked them specific questions for uh, timeline for applying for OPT, uh, requesting the EAD card for my future work. So they provide some service uh, for me. Um, I feel they generally provide some timely help. We um, primarily, we met online via, via Zoom. They were very approachable and available when I have questions. I had four meetings regarding OPT uh, processes and my uh, how to apply for OPT and so on, things like that. Yes, I, so based on this reason, and I think you are help the student uh, who in my immigration, I think, and the ways of you to meeting is about the Zoom and the video, video call, right? Yes. Okay, the next question is, tell me about your opinion about ISS. What do you think? Um, is there any specific perspectives you'd like to hear about or uh, what kind of opinions um, about their service or their communication? Yeah, I just want to hear your opinion, yeah. From my experiences, I feel they were very responsive in replying my emails so I could schedule Zoom meeting with them in a timely manner so that I feel the first of all, they are supportive. They would like to hear from me about my situation. They are very understanding. They would like to know why I need such a meeting and how they can help. Um, that is very important for me to feel I was understood and I was supported by a specific um, student support service like, like that. In addition, I feel they are also professional. Uh, in one of the meeting with a ISS staff, they provide me information about what's happening after they um, update my I-20 form when they give me another updated I-20 form, how I will use it for my OPT application. And also they give me updated, updated information about what's going on and why this is, is being done by the government policy and, and the rules like that. So they give me clarif clarifications on what I should do, um, especially by reporting my OPT after I received my um approval notice so they give me very step-by-step -step instructions on that uh so i think positive evaluations and opinions in general i have to say so i think your opinion about ISS is about the ISS can help you to finish your academic program step by step is right they could help me to um complete so my immigration benefit, uh, apply application for some benefits in yeah. a timely manner and can help me 
um, to navigate my um, applications for working legally in the U.S. That was very helpful. Okay. Uh, not to say my academic achievement or support, but yeah. some necessary help for me to work legally um, Yeah, in the States. So I think even though you already provide some reason for me about why would you come to the ISS, but the third question I still want to ask you, why would you come to ISS? Give me, I think, maybe other reasons, please. Well, I feel because my identity as an international student, there are some required paperwork I need to be go through via ISS, such as international students, um, I-20 updates, it has to be done through ISS. They are the specific um, platform for me to do. The, the university, the government, the immigration government give them authority to um, process my international student paperwork so that I can uh, apply my next step immigration paperwork through the ISS. That, that is the primary reason. Um, plus, they, they have experience working with students holding F1, wait, F1 visa so that they can provide um, important support uh, because they do know what's going on, how to support, and they can provide professional service um, give, with the authority from the US, USCIS, which is, uh, I think it's United States um, Immigration Office. Yes. Okay. The the next question is: Did you attend some activities that ISS recommend? I did receive some emails like um, OPT training workshops and some uh, social events from them, but I didn't have the time to participate. I did have some hear some information from my. Um, family members who participate in the OPD training. So I think I have already informed on that part. Um, that is, I didn't enjoy participate in any activities or events held by ISS. So you mean you just attend some, attend the ISS academy requires, right? You are not going to attend something activity that ISS recommend, right? Yes, exactly. How do you learn ISS event? I learned the ISS event primarily from my emails. They send email announcements once in a while when they have events and they in the email in they have they have attached posters, details of the events. I didn't attend because of I'm busy most of the time, so I didn't have the time to participate in those events. No, but those are great email. for international students. Yeah. Yes. Mm, so how does you meeting others international students? For my social connections with other International students, I often met them from our departmental support group, such as cohort um, with international identities. And sometimes we work together uh, as graduate teaching assistants. So we, we knew each other as colleagues, uh, friends, uh, because we are bonded together in our department. I also interact with other international students by taking courses with similar interests, like statistical courses from educational psychology. I had some international friends there. Um, that Those are two major ways I made friends uh, with international identities. Okay, so the question seven is, how does ISS help you solve your trouble? And I think you just, the basic trouble for, for you is about how does you to apply the OPT 
study program, right? He so mm -hmm. have other troubles that ISS also can help you? There was a time I run into questions like reduced course load and um, online in-person classes. At that time, I was uh, pregnant and I was about to uh, give birth to my first child. So I reached out to them and asked if I could have my um, course load reduced. Um, and I, I remember there was a time I asked other questions like that. And they provide me some information about eligibility for reduced course load and uh, whether I could apply. And eventually, I think those conversations were informative. Even though I didn't reduce my course load fully, um, I remember I didn't use the reduced course load request eventually, but that conversation kind of helped me to navigate what to do next during the family transition. Okay, so the question eight is, what do you think and uh, how do you think the ISS could be improved? Well, um, to think about some suggestions to improve the ISS service, I, um, if I'm going to think some suggestions in my mind, I, I could say there's some confusion after the pandemic transition for how I can approach them. Sometimes they provide options for walk-in meetings. Sometimes they say you can call them or you can schedule emails um, and, and make appointments. Uh, there are times they said um, we're not available because we have meetings. Um, so I don't know. Usually we just walk in and we meet staff and specialists. Nowadays, there's more options that I sometimes um, personally am confused about what are the best, what is the best approachable, approachable way to reach out to them. And sometimes they're not available because the formats you request. So that is something I wish they could provide more clarity in the website or they can just give us more options with, with some more transparency in the open windows for their um, available dates or times. Okay, so the next time, the next question is, tell me about the, the positive and the, the negative experience you have in ISS. Are you asking the positive experiences uh, and negatives? Both, both positive and the negative experience. Post? Positive and the negative. Okay, I think I already explained the positive experiences um, from my explanation. Do you want to hear more about the negative ones? Uh, yes, it's okay, yeah. I... The negative ones, I I don't have many, but if I think I already mentioned um I sometimes they're not available be, because of so many different formats of meetings and I have to wait for appointments. And uh, usually before the pandemic, if I walk in, they are available for most of the time. But nowadays this seems to be more restricted in, in their service availability. So that was kind of something I am not very satisfied. Um, one more negative experience, if I could mention, was that the front desk sometimes was not very professional. They would refer you to somebody else. But sometimes you have to wait and they did not give you too many reasons about like who are reaching, re reaching out and when you are going to come again. So um, I feel they are very restricted in which kind of solution problems they can solve and they will refer to someone else. But um, I just would like to have better communication with them, why I need to wait and what to be expected and when the very specialist can help you. So that is the only experience I, I should mention if I, there's something negative I can think about. 
。OK， so the the question eleven is who at the ISS do you go to for help and why? You mean the staff, the specific staff? Uh, so I think you once going to the ISS and uh, did you did you very fear it to to somebody to help you or you just you just choose a member to help you randomly? Well, it depends on the questions. I remember there were times I reached out to Re Regina or Retina, Re I forgot her name, but she is a specialist in health insurance and I reached out to her several times to add my dependents in my insurance plan every semester. So I reached out to specific staff because of she's in charge of health insurance. There were some other time I just reach out, reach out to general staff and saying that I need support for uh, to schedule a meeting with the ISS staff for my OPT um, application, things like that. Oh. Um, but I did have some experience working with multiple relevant staff who can help me through the OPT. There are three, so, but I didn't specify any person. Uh, just anybody who can help at random. Uh, okay, so the, the end of the question is, what advice and the suggestion you want the new student know about ISS? I want the future students to know that ISS staff are not like regulating them. They are, they are there to help and support. Um, if they can find any solutions and for their problems, they are very welcoming and very available and willing to help students, uh, international students specifically. Maybe there are some conversations or misunderstanding because of the cultural barriers or language um, or language problems. But I, I feel there were some times in, in my beginning of my PhD program that there were some misunderstanding, but gradually when, when I feel that I know more of the culture, when I need help, I, I just reach out to them. They were very available and supportive um, in general. So if I'd like to give some general suggestions to the future students, we should read their emails very carefully because see, there's something related to legal status of international students. Uh, however, if, if there's some, some problems we have, they are always there to support. They do not want to like um, control you, but they're they are there to support if they can. Uh, and if you have any questions about your legal service, uh, legal status working um, at part-time as student or working after graduation, they are very professional and because they have experience and they 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 can provide enough service for us. Okay, so um, so, so what else you want me to know about the ISS? Uh what else? Um I would like to provide um some additional information regarding ISS from my personal experience. They, um, they also offer some other social networking opportunities like um, finding some, some students who can teach Mandarin or sometimes they have some specific uh, opportunities for students to help others um, from your own cultural experiences. Yeah. Um, and also I know the can they can provide support for research. Like if you have international student sample, you can reach out to them. They can help you with um, posting your study for international study, things like that. So they can sometimes do additional oh. uh, support for for international international students. Yeah, for last uh, for last semester, I just remember me. Uh, I just sent the email to ask the ISS. Hey, did you have a something teacher or student can support the student who who sing the Mandarin? But they say no. 
Oh. The basic reason is my, my professor asked me to do this because they they think my English sometimes is not not very good, but I try my best right now. Uh, yeah, we can improve it. Yeah, we can improve. So, and uh, so if if I have other question, I think I can. Uh, so if I have other question, I think I can email you again. Or if you have other question, you also welcome to email to me. And sure. this is all message for today's interviews. And uh, have a nice day. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Feel free to contact me if you have any other questions. Okay.